Movies and crafting? Wow, this is going to be tots amazing! I'm quite certain I look fabulous in this movie. Oh wow, love. I'm so excited to see this. I can't believe we are going to watch the actual movie! Shh, it's about to start. In honor of Monster High's new movie, Fright's Camera Action, we are going to make a movie experience for a doll using a cardboard box, plastic bottle caps, flameless tea candles, popsicle sticks, craft paint, pillow fluff, felt, printables from our blog, mini clothespins, empty spools of thread, craft foam, straws, paperboard, toothbrush covers, buttons, trim, scrapbook paper, and glue. I start by building our basic box room. By cutting the tabs off of one side, turn it on its side, cut out the top, reinforce all the sides with another layer of cardboard, cover it with paper. I'm choosing to use a white paper around the top and edges, cover the inside with scrapbook paper. We chose to use two types of paper for the walls. We cut thin strips for trim, add another layer to give it dimension. We used a velvet scrapbook paper on the floor Glue a bottle cap into the corner. Glue together strips of metallic scrapbook paper. Glue the paper onto the bottle cap. Add multiple layers to make wall sconces. Add a flameless tea candle for a working light. Stack and glue popsicle sticks together until they are wider than the doll. Make three. Cut a few popsicle sticks before gluing to make one that is shorter. Glue the short one between two long ones. Then glue the third at an angle on the back. Paint the areas that will be visible. Fold over a piece of felt and measure it to the size of the chair. Cut, open it, then fold one side in. Apply glue and then lay the other side over it. To make tubes, one for each part of the chair. Glue the ends closed. Glue two of them around the arms. For the back of the chair, I lightly stuff one end of the tube with pillow fluff. Glue the stuffed end into the corner of the seat. Make a thinner tube with the fluff in the middle. Wrap it around the larger tube, glue it in the back, then pull the back down and glue underneath. Cut the last tube in half, glue the ends, glue on the seat, use leftover cut popsicle sticks and felt, then glue underneath to complete the chairs. Fold felt, cut, and fold accordion style. Glue them on the walls for curtains. Cut out our printable TV screen and printable movie poster, where we just added a little scrapbook paper and trim to complete our screening room. Cover two sides of the outside of the box with our printable scrapbook paper, paint clothespins, glue them onto the box, take an empty spool of thread, cut a square of craft foam, cut a square out of the corners, glue the foam onto the spool, glue an acrylic jewel in the center, glue it next to the clothespin, for lights. Take one of our printable backdrops, glue it onto paperboard to keep it flat, hang them from the clothespins, glue lights onto straws, glue straws onto the bottom to make a freestanding light. Glue an empty spool onto a toothbrush cover, glue on buttons, glue straws to the bottom to make a tripod, paint it to make a camera. On the other side of the box, we glue on our step and repeat printable. Framed it with black paper on both sides, Glue felt or black velvet scrapbook paper onto paperboard. Glue trim on the sides to make a fabsome black carpet. We can even lay the black carpet down the middle of our screening room for a walkway. So now we have four areas where we can play. On this brick wall, we can set up our favorite play sets, a movie set, a black carpet for the premiere, and a screening room for the dolls to watch the feature film, Frights, Camera action. And you're done. Happy crafting!
Five minutes, girls. Five minutes. This is the best script I've ever written. What is my motivation? Just imagine yourself walking down the streets of Hollywood. All right, sugar, it's showtime. Look into the camera and smile. Frights, camera, action. We want to give a shout out to. Love. Ah! <laughs> What's up? Wow, Cleo, you really stole the show. Don't I always?